It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. See, last night I finally went and did it. Went to Baskin Robbins and I got my helmet Sunday. So now I have a little Houston Astros mini helmet that used to have ice cream in it. It's in the dishwasher. Is the dishwasher safe? We'll find out. But uh, I can't show it to you because it's in the dishwasher. And the dishwasher is not full because I had an ice cream sundae for dinner, so I didn't put any dishes in the dishwasher. Well, I did. I put the helmet in. But, uh, yes, that was pretty much it. I watched a movie, Absurdistan, and it was pretty absurd. And the thing I hate about the word absurd is some people say absurd. And I'm sure that in some dialect that's how you pronounce it, but... Damn it, I don't want to hear you saying absurd. You just sound absurd when you say absurd. Damn it. When I observe you saying absurd, it makes you seem really absurd. The movie itself is fine. It's, uh, it's an aptly titled, an appropriately titled movie. It uh, doesn't always make sense, but it's a pretty basic story with a lot of silliness. I recommend it for people that like... Monty Python, when it's less over the top, when it's more subtle, that's what this movie is. There's a lot of... It's... To an American, it would seem a little bit erotic. It's not... This movie would be rated PG. But it's not rated because it's a foreign film. But if it were American, it would be PG. Or if it were released in theaters here, it would be PG. That's what the MPAA would say. Uh, but it's mildly suggestive. But... Uh, you know, Americans can't can't handle that type of humor. Violence, no problem. But anything sexual, uh, but yeah, it's suitable for the entire family, I suppose. There's one scene where if you're a Mormon, you'll want to cover the eyes of the person sitting next to you while you watch, of course. That's yeah, what they do. When uh, I was a kid, well, I wasn't a kid. I was in college, but when I was in high school, when uh, Titanic came out on rental, and my best friend, Travis the Mormon, the inspiration for the Joel Shit show featuring Joel Shit. He uh, rented Titanic, and his nephews were watching it, and in the scene where he's painting um, Rose McGowan, whatever the hell her name is, Sedale Three, I don't know, um, he covered their eyes and fast-forwarded through the part where he was painting her, even though that's art, because he's painting her, but, you know, it's Hollywood, you can't trust Hollywood, but uh, no reason to pick on the Mormons, there's plenty of other groups that are fun to pick on, too, like the right-handed and dog lovers, so anyway... That was that. A sort of stand, I give it two stars. If you like semi-silly movies that are light and fun, you will give it more than that. If you want things getting blown up because you hear the movies about somewhere in the Eastern Europe area, you will give it one star, but that's also because you're stupid. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.